Hey, what is up guys? I am Frozenman28, a new Hydra commentator. I want to say thank you for Rockies for actually letting me have this opportunity and I'm just so thankful for this and I can't wait to start making videos on Hydra. So, basically, this video is about me, but before I get onto this, I have to say this gameplay was by Hydra Swoosh and it was a switch weapon every kill. So he switched his weapon every single time he got a kill and it was a DNA bomb, which is kind of amazing. <laughs> so you guys should check him out. I probably could not do this on Advanced Warfare as it's so freaking hard. But um, yeah, let's get on to the video. My name is Adam. I am from California and my favorite thing to do is probably baseball and YouTube. My number one thing is baseball, but uh, yeah, I always have time to make videos and I mean, I have a lot of time, but baseball is probably my favorite thing to do and you probably don't like it i don't i don't know whatever you guys like i don't care football whatever it is i'm just the sporty type of guy i like all the sports probably except like i don't know um i don't like soccer that's it <laughs> soccer is probably the only sport i don't like so don't hate on me just for not liking soccer so um that's probably my favorite thing to do and my dream job is to be either a major league baseball player or to be a YouTuber full-time. My favorite thing about YouTube is to entertain people, and that's one of my main things that I want to do, is entertain people and have fun. That's probably a really good way of explaining myself. Believe it or not, I've never actually commentated for a clan. I've commentated for my YouTube channel a couple times, but never actually for a clan, and I've been in many clans. So, I hope this one will be a really good chance for me to actually, you know, you know, get up there and stay with this clan for probably, like, a really long time, I guess. Um, so, please leave me some um, criticism to make me better. And I'll look into that and, you know, I'll change whatever I can to make myself better. Story time. Okay, this is the story where I stole my parents' credit card. Um, not only did I do this once, but I actually ended up doing this three times. So, what I did is I went into my parents', um, my parents, uh, wallet and I took a credit card and spent all this money online thinking that I could pay them back, like, $200 or something. I think I ended up spending like $500 and it was like on like controllers and scuff and everything and that wasn't very a good choice and I ended up making this three times one at my house two in Arizona on a baseball tournament and three at my house again um so I was just really really sneaky and I ended up just like you know kind of sneaking into my parents wall but the story I remember most is in Arizona so I was at a baseball tournament and um, my dad was sleeping so I was like, oh, my dad's wallet's on the ground. Maybe I should go take it and then, like, buy some scuff um, controllers so when I get home, I can start playing and stuff. But, yeah. Um, so I ended up sneaking to get the credit card. And it was just really, really scary because I was like, oh, crap, if my dad wakes up, oh, I'm screwed. So I got the credit card. I went into the bathroom. And I kind of locked the door. And I, um took my dad's credit card and put in the number and everything and bought this for like $300 worth of freaking controllers and microphones and everything. Just imagine like all, all you can get, like you're just thinking here, oh, what can I get? And I just did all this and I got everything and it never actually, um, um, it, it was like the, the money went through, but the thing never got to my house because it canceled it and there was no refunds or anything. So I ended up um, getting a call from this um, detective because my mom called him and my mom was furious. I wasn't even allowed to play baseball at the time. So my mom was um, furious and I got there. So um, I got home, I got whipped because that was my second time doing it in Arizona. And um, they called this detective or a cop and he called me and it was like all legit and I was like really scared. I was freaking out when I got this call. And um, yeah, I've never actually made this, um, I've never actually done this again, so, um, I hope you guys learned from my mistakes. If you want to hear more about this story, you should go to my channel and check it out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. First love was basketball, showing a team around third grade. I was too young for the sign up, so we lied about my birthday. But I still bought short kids, so to me, everybody looked real tall. Coming off the bench, I was like the 10th man, but I still got skills, dog. I stuck with it.
kinda suck, but I work hard as fuck, so they fucked with it. Yeah. The young homie, I was always on call, like hit me when you trying to get them runs, What's homie. Up? First to the park, but the last to get picked. Sorry in my life, ain't that some shit? I ain't got no height, I ain't got no bounce, and I can't shoot the three, ain't that a bitch? Man, I hated training, fuck the weight room, shit, I stay complaining. Never saw results, so I stayed impatient. Quit playing ball, man, I lost myself for a while. Gotta thank the amazing grace of the hip hop guys for converting me over to the dark side. Split me and my crew down the middle like a part time, so you know I had to let this song cry. Found out with my heart lies, huh? You can still see where the stars are, bro. Look, find now with a soul of a 6'6 cat with a 7'4 wingspan. Still got game like a 06 Kobe. I don't need no motherfucking wingman. The mic is my ball and the stage is my court and LA is my home. I'm the king fan, homie. King with the big. Get it, don't forget it when I'm spitting. Never seen it, man. I made it out of Venice. Traveling the world, stick committed to the city and the world of seven Tennessee. And anybody with me? King with the big. Come a couple of Hitty and the Lakers on my team. So the out of town is in me. No matter where we are, stick